My number seven is a game called Press X to Not Die on the Xbox 360. Have you heard of this? Mm, yeah, I think I have, but I don't know what it is. Um, well, it's an Xbox Live indie game that is now also available on Steam Early Access. Um, it is a very, 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 very briskly made and extremely low budget, um, but often pretty amusing interactive movie. It's so unbelievably dopey that there isn't much point in trying to relay the plot, but there are some zombies and you're running around and getting into scrapes and avoiding encounters with the zombies. And most of the encounters take place in people's gardens or in people's kitchens. Um, And you have to nail quick time events in between having really, really lame jokes thrown at you. Um, First off, I just need to point out that it's really badly filmed. And I mean really badly filmed. There are countless shots where you're looking at blank walls or you're looking at the rear of someone's feet as they walk or you're just looking at the ground because it was shot with a GoPro and the cameraman appears to be quite tall but the camera is angled downwards so we don't really see much apart from the floor half the time when it's moving around. It should have been mounted on a pole or something so you know there was always something for us to look at all the time but yeah, so it's terribly short. It's also very badly acted. I mean, the, the acting's terrible and the sound is awful with some terrible instances of, like, dubbing and stuff, but uh, that doesn't really take anything away from the experience, to be honest. Uh, I think you're far more likely to enjoy this if, like me, you used to make terrible horror movies when you were young. Right. Because this is basically a terrible, terribly amateurish horror film. Um But I could really relate to to, to some of it, especially the way that it gets less gory as it goes on, because everyone appears to have slightly realised what a pain in the neck it is to clean ketchup off walls. Uh, I've been there so many times. They get less and less ambitious as they go on. Um, But anyway, yeah, it's half an hour long. The quick time events all work. And of the ten or so unspeakably stupid jokes, I probably chuckled at like seven of them. So, I mean, as filmmaking, no way. As a video game, no. But as entertainment, yeah. I mean, I'd say give it a go. It's like a couple of quid. Why not? 